Hey guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel. It is 2020, baby. New year, new resolutions. And one of my top resolutions this year was to drink only water for a month. I really want to see what happens if I drink more water because I definitely do not drink enough. So I looked it up. Um, women are supposed to have 11.5 cups of water every day. That's like four of these because this is 24 ounces. It's 3.8 of these, basically four. And in the past, I would normally drink half of one of these. Half. That's it. <laughs> So right now, I'm just trying to get myself in the mode of just drinking more water. Did do some research. So it looks like BuzzFeed of July of 2018, they did um, a video where people tried to just drink like how much water they're supposed to. So, you know, the recommended 11 and a half cups a day because there's all women for some reason. They didn't get any guys to do it. <laughs> but yeah. And... Um, they did this in July of 2018 and the results were waking up was easier, more energy, better skin, felt better, their skin looked younger and brighter and one of the girls even was able to lose like 6 pounds because they had a water expert came in and he said why you should always drink water is it helps your skin, it's no more chapped lips, helps with hangovers, I don't ever drink but if you do, drink water. <laughs> And let's see, it regulates when you're hungry so you eat less because when you drink more water, you feel more full. And let's see, you have to pee more. That is a negative about it. But other than that, it helps with your digestive, digestive system so you won't ever get like congested or constipated, which I'll be honest, sometimes I have an issue with that because I like bloat a lot. So I'm hoping that improves. Um, it helps to lose weight because you feel less hungry. And then you can water bloat, which I hope I don't because I already naturally bloat. And you'll want to drink more water. And you'll want to drink more water because you'll like that you feel less hungry. Because there is a thing called false hungry where you're thirsty. But instead of like drinking some water, we eat food. Because we, and we, we like take our thirst for a false hunger. And yeah. So that's kind of the like results the women had and that's what the water expert had to say in that video. I can link that video down below if you want to watch it. In the next video I watched, oh who made this again? It was by Body Hub, uh, July of 2018 again. And it was health benefits of only drinking water for a month. So that was perfect for me because I'm going to be trying to drink only water for a month. And it says that number one, let's see here. So the benefits, don't drink water much because it has a, okay, so this is what I was saying why people don't drink enough water in the Body Hub video. It says they don't drink enough water because it has a bland taste compared to other drinks. Very true. Like, I like water, but halfway through drinking, like, that's why I can't drink a full one of these. Because I'm like, oh, like, I need some, like, taste. Like, water doesn't really have a taste after a while, which I agree with. And then it says why you should drink water is keeps you hydrated, flushes out toxins, and reduces ailment risk and increases metabolic rate. Which would be good for me because I feel like I don't have that good of a metabolism. Like I definitely have to work out to lose weight or to maintain my weight. So I'm hoping that if I drink more water, my metabolism will kind of like get better or even out. And then the rest of the video was basically saying this is what should happen if you only drink water for a month. And the first thing it said was, let's see, cognitive benefits, cognitive cells will get energy from water. When well hydrated, you will focus better and easier. So your cognitive skills were increased according to this video. Second, it removes waste buildup from body, keeps kidney working in order, and if these toxins build up, you'll have rapid health problems. So it'll keep your kidney working because it, like, if you're not well hydrated, you could have, let's see, let's see, where did go? you can have health problems. So drinking more water helps with your overall health, basically is what it's saying. And so at least I think. <laughs> I don't really know. I'm not that smart. <laughs> but yeah. Um, three, it'll stabilize your kidney function. Decreased kidney function can lower metabolic rate. When kidney doesn't function, fo function? <laughs> function properly, it can't get rid of toxins and liver takes over this process. When liver takes over function, it can't metabolize stored fats and it leads to weight gain. So this will help my metabolism and it'll help me hopefully lose weight or maintain my weight because my metabolism should get better. Woo! Uh, four, hair and skin will be happier. Proper hydration will leave skin feeling smooth and fresh and leave hair feeling thicker and stronger. Not enough water, skin will feel flaky, tight, and can cause wrinkles. So my skin should be happier, my hair and my nails should also be happier. So that's good. 
Um, I'm, I'm taking these right out of the video. I just wrote it down. So I'm definitely going to link that video down below because I don't want them to like think I'm stealing their video. But I'm not. It's my body hub. <laughs> And the last thing it says, well, you will lose weight and can lower risk to some diseases. Drinking nothing but water for nine days is like running almost five miles a day. Wow. <laughs> I forgot that was a fact in there. It was. <laughs> and lower risk of bowel cancer and bladder conditions because organs can function better and five glasses of water per day lowers risk of heart attack by 40%. So, drinking water is good for us, apparently. <laughs> and also it says, obviously, if you drink more water or like you don't drink other beverages, you will save money because the restaurant's water is free. So, duh, that was another like thing they're trying to get you to, like they're basically just trying to get you to drink more water and saving money for people is kind of a big reason sometimes. <laughs> and seven, it says something about overhydrating. I wrote a question mark because can you really overhydrate? I don't know. But I wanted to read you guys those because I want to see if I actually get those benefits by the end of this month. And I'll kind of like go back and look and be like, oh, yep, I did or no, I didn't. And I'm hoping you can say, yep, I did to all of them. So today is day one and I've been drinking nothing but water. I drank a full one of these already and I'm like a little bit into a second one. And that's not the best because it's like nighttime now. It's like 530. So I wish I would have drank more but I didn't. But you know, we're still doing good. I feel good. Um, I feel like my skin is looking okay. Um, I feel like I'm going to the bathroom more, which I don't like. But you know, I feel I feel pretty good. So day one's going well. What I think I'm going to do is check in every Friday. So every week, just end of week one, end of week two, end of week three, the end of the month, kind of tell you guys if my results are matching up with what this video said. So here's just a little intro to me trying to drink water for only a month and let's see what happens. Hey guys, so it's next Friday, it's a week later, I'm checking in and I'm doing this quick because the sun's gonna go bye bye quick if I don't film now. <laughs> but yeah, so it's been a week of me only drinking water and I don't know, I don't feel that different. Like. On here, it was like, you could lose weight, digestion should get better, which I guess that did. Like, I go to the bathroom more. This video is gonna have to be like TMI, but like, instead of like one bigger like poo of the day, it's like little ones throughout the day, which I guess is good because sometimes I'll get bloated because I'm not going throughout the day. It's just like that one time at the nighttime. I need to stop, that's so gross. But I think another reason why I'm not like being that much different is because I'm supposed to drink almost four of these a day and at max the most I can drink is two of these a day and that's 24 ounces so the most I can drink is like, I don't know, like eight cups a day. I'm supposed to have 11 and a half. So maybe that's why I'm not seeing much of a difference but like I, I can't, I'm doing, I'm doing bad today you guys. Like this, I haven't even drinking a full one yet today and it's like the end of the day. So that's bad. Um, I guess other than the digestive system, I'm not, I don't know if I'm really that different. Is, is my skin better? Does my skin look better? <laughs> Maybe I'll close the blinds. I think I'm gonna close the blinds. Yeah, that looks better. But is my skin better? <laughs> no, I started breaking out. But my blemish is literally in the shape of a heart. Isn't that really weird? Maybe it's the water talking. Like the water made my blemish be a shape of a heart. <laughs> I don't know if I feel that different yet. I don't think I lost any weight, but I don't think I gained any either. But then again, I'm not like overweight or underweight. I'm like where I'm supposed to be. So maybe I'm not supposed to lose any weight. I'm just supposed to maintain it and like I am. So I don't know. I don't know if I feel much different, but I think what I need to do is really try to start drinking like almost four of these. Like I'm supposed to drink 3.8 of these. If I did when I did the math to do 11 and a half cups a day. And I'm only drinking like one to two of these. So I think what I need to do is just start drinking more because like, yeah, I'm only drinking water, but I'm still not drinking enough water. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm, I have no problem eating. <laughs> like, I love food. I'll eat so much food, but I can't drink anything. I can't drink a lot of anything and it's super annoying. But this is my week one. So one week down, three more to go. Well, seven days minus 30. 23 more days to go. Woot woot. Oh, and you see me dressed in like, I'm literally wearing like a sports bra and like workout clothes right now because we're gonna film the yoga challenge. So I think that one should already be up. So go check that out. But yeah, so I'm gonna go film the yoga challenge with my boyfriend and continue to drink lots of water, hopefully. And I'll check in with you guys if something weird happens or next week check in. 
see ya. Okay guys, so it is a week later. I am done with like three weeks now, right? Right? Is it three weeks now? I don't know. All I know is that it's like January, what's the date today? It is January 19th, it's a Sunday. You know what I'm thinking of? I'm only like two and a half weeks in. But why do I have three check-in clips? Oh, it was my second week done. I can't even remember anymore. All I know is that I've done this for 17 days of just drinking water. I still suck. I cannot drink three and a half of these a day. I, I can't do it. Why is 11 and a half cups the much I'm supposed to drink? At most, I drink one to two of these. I can't, it's two, normally two. So that's 48 ounces. Yay! <laughs> but that's as much as I'm drinking and again, my chin is like, maybe you can't tell because I'm wearing makeup, but let me see. You can't tell because I'm wearing makeup, but my chin broken out like crazy. I had one here, one here, one here, one here. Like just duh, duh, duh. I mean, maybe it's because of my periods coming up soon, TMI. I don't really know. Is this crooked? It might have been, sorry. Um, but yeah, so the whole water makes your skin better. That happened at first, and now it's going to crap. But my, I told my mom about this because like everyone I know basically, everyone I know is basically knows I'm doing this because I used to drink so much coffee and like when I'd go out, I'd get a juice or like a pop and then I'd drink water at night kind of thing. So everybody knows because I was like, no, I'm only getting water and they were like, what? So everyone knows. And my mom was like, oh my God, I sound like such a teenager. And my mom was like, <laughs> and my mom said, maybe the water was clearing your skin up at first. It's like starting to like get all that junk out so maybe at first it was like restoring it and now it's like getting the junk out. So that's why I'm breaking out. I really don't know if that's it or if it's because my period's coming up. I haven't, oh, my phone just went off. Oh, have <laughs> you guessing at me? Hey girl. <laughs> or if just, I don't know, maybe because I'm wearing a lot more makeup than normal because I'm filming more. But other than that, it's just my chin though. The rest of my face feels like hydrated and really good. Um, I will say I'm getting full a lot more lately like I can't eat as much as I used to because I'm just not as hungry I'm definitely like water makes you more full which is why I think when you drink more water people tend to lose weight or it's easier for them to maintain their weight because you're not eating as much because you're getting full that's happened in the last week I'm definitely more full than I used to be and my digest is still good like I'm still going to the bathroom more than I used to so that's good and yeah so I would say other than my skin breaking out, which is annoying, I feel like the water, this like water trend is still good. You know, it, that was my resolution. I was like, I need to drink more water. But I'm just kind of bummed that my skin's breaking out because I thought by drinking a lot of water, it would help my skin. But I think it's just that I'm wearing makeup or that my period's coming up. I'm not really sure. I still have like two more weeks to go. And yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm halfway through and I feel good, but my skin looks kind of ratchet on my chin. I kind of wish I wouldn't have put on makeup because then you could see what I'm talking about. But yeah, so I will check back in the next week and hopefully I can drink maybe three of these. That's my goal. Andy, my cat is scratching the wall. Hey, okay. So yeah, see you guys next week for another update on the water trend, two more weeks to go. Hey guys, it's Sophie. I'm just surrounded by a bunch of stuff because I just filmed a haul. So if you hear me knocking things or bumping into things, my bad. But yeah, so it is February. I can finally drink something other than water. And what am I drinking right now? Water. And that's because this weekend, it was like my first, like Saturday was the first day of February and I drank coffee that day and a smoothie. And then Sunday I drank coffee and like Powerade. I've just, I, I want water again. I'm a little sick of everything else. I think me drinking water for a month really made me want to drink water more often. So I've just been drinking water today and it's, oh, and a little bit of tea, a little bit of tea. And it's been just fine. Um, I did definitely need that Saturday coffee. I was craving a caramel macchiato so bad. So you bet your butt I went and got one. But yeah, um, I'll be honest though, like it did make me bloat, like drinking coffee for the first time after not drinking anything but water for a month did make me bloat. I didn't really eat anything that day really. So I was like, why? Like, okay, I did, but like not before that point. You know what I mean? Like I had like a, I had like one strudel for breakfast, like that's it. And then like I had coffee like two hours later and I hadn't eaten lunch or dinner yet because I had coffee like at like 11 in the morning I'd say. And I was bloating and I was like, why am I bloating? It must be because of the coffee. 
um, it still tasted great, so I finished it, but I did bloat. And, um, yeah, and then I drank water that night. Um, I think drinking water just, like, so much made me like it more. And us also, by drinking anything else other than water, like, when I first started drinking only water for a month, I had to pee all the time. And then I, like, it kind of balanced out. But now drinking other things, like coffee and juices, it, like, I had to pee all the time again because I was, like, introducing, like, new liquids into my body for I don't really know but I had to pee so much yesterday and the day before I don't know why but I did and today I've been drinking just water basically and I, it's like the normal amount of times I have to go to the bathroom I guess and my feel like my skin is getting better but um last week my skin was so broken out I need to stop wearing makeup in these checkups so then you can't see what I'm talking about but basically I think I, I figured out why I think I broke out. Last time I thought maybe I'm breaking out because it's like flushing out the bad stuff in my face. I'm not really sure, but no. I tried a new primer a couple weeks ago, and even though it made my makeup look better, it wrecked my skin because I have such sensitive skin, and normally when I try new primers, that actually does happen where I break out. I just kind of forgot until like a few few days ago when I was talking about it and I was like oh yeah the last primer I tried broke me out for like a week I remember that now so I think it was my primer and I think by drinking more water that definitely helped it clear up and I've been doing some new skin scares I can't talk I've been doing some new skincare stuff like a new skincare routine that I also think is helping a lot so if you guys would want to see that it's literally it's like five minutes three steps and only like twenty dollars it's super simple super cheap super fast and I think it's working for me. And I have sensitive skin and like almost nothing works. So if you want to see my new skincare routine, comment down below because I'm thinking of doing one. Because I, I would love, you know, like if I didn't have one already, I'd be like, I want one that's fast, cheap, and works. So yeah, so I might film that. But anyway, about the water. Um, also, I'm not bloating today. I don't know, it just made me bloat drinking other stuff. It was like really tasty, but it made me bloat. So drinking a lot of water definitely helps your digestive system. And you know, I was I felt more hungry Saturday and Sunday. Whereas like when you drink a lot of water, it kind of fills you up and you're not really that hungry. But when you're drinking like other things, I don't know, it I, I just ate more than I normally would too. So maybe that's why I bloated too. But yeah, so that's kind of the end of my journey, I feel. Um, I feel like this was good for me. I did not drink nearly enough water before this. Um, I'm a little sad that my skin went to heck because when you drink a lot of water, your skin's supposed to like be really good. But I think it's just because of that product, not because of the water. But yeah, and my digestive definitely got better and I didn't eat as much. Like I still ate you know, a healthy amount, but I, I wasn't overeating because when you drink water, it fills you up. So I would say 10 out of 10, this was a good idea. 10 out of 10, this was hard. You know how hard it is to like look at everybody else drinking a coffee and you're like, can't have any. But yeah, so you definitely need to discipline yourself if you're gonna do this and you need to tell people like who think you're crazy, why are you only drinking water? You know, you just have to ignore them. <laughs> and yeah, it was hard and it, it was a shock to my body at first, but you know, you get used to it. And it, I think this definitely is going to make me drink more water because my body is craving it more now than it used to. And yeah, this is a good idea. So if you want to try this out or even just like a week, only drinking water for a week or like only drinking water for a day, like baby step it to a month, go for it. This is just a really good challenge. Um, I'm hoping my skin <clears throat> is back to really good soon here and I'm going to keep doing my skincare routine. If it keeps working, I'll film that for you guys. And yeah. Oh, and also the haul I was talking about earlier. That should be up. That should be up uh, in a couple days. So if you want to see that, hit the subscribe button and the bell, or keep your eye out for it. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more from me, obviously subscribe at the bell, and you can follow me on Instagram. It's down here, and it's at Fun Sunday down there, and it's um, linked down below. And yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and to have an amazing day, and to drink more water, because it's good for you. All right, bye. You are always on my mind, always on my mind, always on my mind, oh. You are always